Around 800,000 Kuwaiti voters will cast their votes on Thursday to elect 50 members of the country's National Assembly. This comes after Kuwait's crown prince dissolved parliament in June and called for early elections. The move was taken to ease a government gridlock that has bred popular opposition and paralyzed the tiny country for months. There are 376 candidates in the race, including 349 men and 27 women. One of the candidates, Mohamed Aldasari, says he hopes the elections will bring development to Kuwait. Meanwhile, political analyst Khalid al Khola said that he wants the elections to bring reforms while steering clear from any tribal, sectarian and political matters. You're watching Asia Prime. The United States tends not to recognize parts of Russian-occupied Ukraine. U.S. State Department spokesman Ned Price says that despite Russia's vote results, any annexed regions will remain part of Ukraine. Price's comments came after Russia moves to annex parts of Russian-occupied Ukraine that held Kremlin orchestrated referendums on living under Moscow's rule. The votes were also denounced not only by United States, but also by Kiev and the West as illegal and rigged. Ned Price said the results were completely fabricated and did not reflect the will of the people of Ukraine. He underlined that the ongoing political progress was the will of Moscow. Because the Russians had... President Putin and his enablers try to claim these areas are and will remain part of Ukraine. Ukraine has every right to continue to defend its sovereignty and its territorial integrity. The United States will never recognize Russia's attempts to annex parts of Ukraine. Quite the opposite. We will continue to work with allies and partners to bring even more pressure on Russia and the individuals and entities that are helping support its attempted land grab. You can expect additional measures from us in the coming days.